just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Shout out to Graven. This next list, see, th this is one of my favorites because it's not just one single position, but it's all the positions put together in one to form the roster. This is going to be the NFL roster rankings for all 32 teams. And shout out to my guy, Noah G, because he was the one that sent it to me. Now, let me tell you all from Jump. We are probably going to be here for a while. So sit down, get comfortable, lean back. And you know what? Let me make sure I'm the most comfortable that I can be. First off, since we're going through all 32 teams, I got to feel like a coach. How can I feel my best to feel like a coach? It's all in a hat, baby. It's all in a hat. And no, this is not a newborn Ravens hat. I don't want to see none of that in the comment section at all. This is not Carter's hat. I don't want to see any of that in the comment section at all. I don't need to see none of that. But the other way that I can feel comfortable, and shout out to Ultra Game, by the way. They sent your boy out a pair of these Raven sweatpants, and let me go throw these bad boys on. Now, 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 real quick, because this, this, this is a coach fit from head to toe. Because you know when you got the hat, when you got the hoodie, and when you got the pants, you all good to go. Now, if you, I, I can't send you one of these. Sorry, this is not in a giveaway. I, I can't send you one of these. Eventually we will, but... For these pants, if you want your own pair of Raven sweatpants so you can coach it up too, you can make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to Ultra Games YouTube channel. And what we're going to do is a little giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway with these pants. And the way you can enter the giveaway is to list your top three teams with their rosters, the top three rosters uh, in the NFL. That's it. And then in your comment, include the words Ultra Game. You can put it at the end. You can put it at the beginning. Either way, that's all you got to do. This will go on for the next three days. That's it. Three days only. That's it. Uh, and we, we can only ship it to people in the United States. So to my people overseas, you know, I love y'all, um, but I'm sorry. So make sure, again, the rules, simple. Subscribe to this channel of course and also ultra game the link will be in the description and if you want to go check out their catalog for yourself feel free to all that information is going to be down below in the description i love y'all now let's let's list it up right because this is what it's all about these lists man um because i just y'all know how i feel about them so the top 32 teams as far as the in order for their ranking of their rosters so now the reason I say this one is going to take a little while. Uh, you know what? Let me take off this hat because it's, it's starting to mess up my circulation. Anyway, the reason I say this is going to take a little while because I love how they did this because they have it listed uh, with strengths and weaknesses of each roster. Now, um, let's listen to what they had to say, sort of how they pre prefaced this. A wild offseason filled with surprising trades shook up rosters from coast to coast. The lineups of both Super Bowl participants lost some key elements, and consequently, neither the world champion Los Angeles Rams nor the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals sit atop annual PFF roster rankings for 2022. Where do the Rams and Bengals rank? Which team has ascended to number one? Which teams are ready to pounce? And which look like they will fall by the wayside? With the 2022 draft and free agency behind us, we're breaking down each team's roster using the PFF database. With an eye toward the projected starters, we look at both the PFF grades from their 2021 season, a number included for every projected starter, and a more comprehensive assessment of each player's career using both PFF grades and statistics. So, this list is from... PFF. Now, I know a lot of people with PFF, when it comes to PFF, it's a love or hate type of thing. And, and trust me, I get it. It's all good. But let, let's see what they had to say. So let's jump into it. Number one, the number one ranked roster in the NFL by PFF Pro Football Focus, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, biggest strength, the only two quarterbacks with a higher PFF grade than Josh Allen over the past two seasons are Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. The physical tools were always there, but Allen has managed to add the accuracy that was missing during his first few years in the league. Allen's development in the primer is the primary reason the Bills enter the 2022 season as Super Bowl favorites, though General Manager Brandon Bean and the rest of this front office deserve credit for building a complete roster. Now, with the Bills, man, um, one thing that I absolutely love 
and respect and admire about the Buffalo Bills is the way that they build that roster. They're not like, all right, Josh Allen, you go do everything. No, 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 no. They've added playmate. They've continued to add playmakers on both sides of the ball. They just had, even though it didn't show in that Chiefs playoff loss last year, they just had the number one defense last year. What do they do? They go out and sign Von Miller. And we know that the contract, it looks like really crazy. It, the contract looks really crazy, but we know like these contracts, they're not all that they seem to be. Um, but the Bills continue to always add around Josh Allen. They keep adding people on defense too. They continuously try to get better. And I, I, I love that and I respect it so much. Biggest weakness. Uh, the right side of Buffalo's offensive line has some potential with Ryan Bates and Spencer Brown, but neither has much experience. Bates earned a 64.4 PFF grade in five stars at left guard in 2021 and his first season with over 100 snaps. And Brown came away from his rookie season last year with a 59.3 PFF pass blocking grade from 846 offensive snaps. The Bills are banking on those two growing together on the right side, but it could be a weak point. And the X Factor. The version of Von Miller, oh, funny we mentioned Von Miller. The version of Von Miller that uh, helped fuel a Super Bowl run for the Los Angeles Rams last season is still one of the best pass rushers in, in the league. Uh, across those four postseason games, Miller recorded 22 quarterback pressures, uh, one shy of Aaron Donald's 23 to go along with a playoff high at 92.6 PFF pass rushing grade. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was balling like that in the playoffs. I know he was still good now. I didn't know he was doing all that now. Uh, the Bills will be hoping that Miller can maintain that level of play and avoid injuries in his age 33 season because he can be a game changer for their defense if he does. That's true. That's what we were just talking about, playmakers, game changers. That's, that's what it's about. Number two overall roster, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I'm not going to go through everything for every roster, um, but their biggest strength um, he says the right side of their offensive line, their biggest weakness. They say you got to poke around and find weaknesses on the roster, the strongest Tampa Bay's. Um, but it says their their defensive front because uh, they got draft picks. Um, Joe Tryon and, and Logan Hulk. It says they'll be asked to fill the roles of Jason Pierre Paul and the Dominican Sue. And the Dominican Sue still a free agent right now. Man. Um, so the X factor is uh, Joe Tryon, their first round pick from last year. All right, so uh, number three, number three best roster in the NFL, according to PFF, the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, <laughs> you look at their roster, they are loaded. They're loaded. The, the, wide, the quarterback, he, who's a baller, um, their, their wide receivers, um, their running back, uh, their pass rushers, their corners, their safeties. Like, yeah, they're loaded. But anyway, biggest strength. Um, a healthy Khalil Mack. Mack still ranks third among edge defenders in PFF's war metrics since 2019. One of the two players ahead of him is Joey Bosa. <laughs> Biggest weakness. Um, it is the right tackle spot. X Factor, Sebastian Joseph Day was brought in for one reason, to improve a run defense that ranked 27th in the league. All right, so there we go. So they got the Chargers as a number three overall roster. Now, the Chargers have, they've had a pretty good roster over the past couple of years, but they just haven't lived up to expectations. Let's see if this year is different. We're going to see very soon. Number four, staying right there in Los Angeles, the Rams. Uh, their biggest strength. <laughs> Here's a list of the five highest graded defensive seasons in the NFL since Aaron Donald was drafted in 2014. Donald's 2018 season, his 2017 season, his 2020 season, his 2019 season, and his 2021 season. There's no player in the league who has come close to his level of dominance. So I think when you think about the Rams, yeah, biggest strength, you would, you would say that too. But um, another strength is their offense and their playmakers. Now they have, uh, last year they had a Cooper Cup Um Robert Woods got hurt, but they had Cooper Cup. Uh, they had Van Jefferson. Um, I know they had, a, I think, was who was it, Higby? Um, and then, of course, come playoff time, they had Odell, or toward the end of the season, they had Odell Beckham Jr., and of course, in the playoffs as well. Um, but now you go into it with uh, Allen Robinson. And I feel like a lot of people forget about Allen Robinson because he's been hurt a lot. Hopefully, he can stay healthy. That, that's one of the biggest things. Hopefully, he can stay healthy. Um, but they got some nice offensive weapons yet again. And Cam Akers, he should be back like all the way, all the way back. Even though he came all the way back last year, but he should be all the way, all the way back now. Um, so that just makes him that much stronger. Biggest weakness, 
The Von Miller loss on the edge isn't an easy one to stomach for the Rams. Uh, the pass rush. Oh, yeah, they they what they traded for him like last year during the season too. Like, man. Rams, that's another team. Y'all know. Rams, they never stop. They never stop. Um, X Factor for 2022. Uh, as last season progressed, the Rams were starting to lean heavily on Odell to win those one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. That's the role that Allen Robinson II steps into. So there you go. Biggest X Factor for them, PFF says it's Allen Robinson. Cool. Number five, the Green Bay Packers. The biggest strength, the Packers' defense is loaded with talent on all three levels. Biggest weakness, the fact that Green Bay ranks this high despite having one of the worst receiving corps in the league speaks to the strength of this roster everywhere else. That's an interesting one because I, I wonder if, well, we, we talk about that team later. Uh, but anyway, Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb, Sammy Watkins are the three established receivers on the roster, and none of them were among the 63 wide receivers who averaged more than 1.5 receiving yards per route and run in 2021. It's putting a lot of pressure on uh, Christian Watson and Romeo Dubs to provide some kind of spark. X Factor for 2022, Elston Jenkins. Still working his way back from a midseason ACL, uh, and it remains to be seen where he slots into the starting offensive line when he does return. So the Packers, and again, despite their receivers, they still got them ranked very, very high. Number six, <laughs> that Madden roster. This team been making Madden rosters for years, but again, it just it hasn't been translating yet. And that's the Cleveland Browns. And we know this year with their... Anyway, let's just get into it. Yeah. Biggest strength. Few teams have invested more in their offensive line than the Browns, and few teams have a better running back room than Cleveland. So the offensive line and the run game. Yes. Biggest weakness. Jadavian, Jadavian Clowney's return to another one-year deal helps solidify the defensive end spot. Defensive tackle is a different story. Jordan Elliott, uh, Taven Bryan, Perrion Winfrey, Sheldon Day, and Tommy Tagai will be battling it out for snaps in 2022. So they're saying their biggest weakness is their defensive, their interior defensive line. X Factor for 2022, a lot of the focus at wide receiver in Cleveland is going to be placed on the new faces of Mari Cooper and David Bell. Nonetheless, it's also going to be a big season for third-year wide receiver Donovan Peoples-Jones. So the X Factor is their wide receiver room. Okay, number seven. Philly, Philly, yo. Shout out to Meek Mill. Uh, biggest strength, Philadelphia Eagles, seventh-ranked roster in the NFL. Biggest strength, if they don't have the best offensive line entering the 2022 season, they're, they are near the top of the list. Biggest weakness, the James Bradbury addition alongside Darius Slay and Avante Maddox eliminates a lot of the questions surrounding the cornerback position, but safety remains a potential weak point on defense. X Factor, they'll only go as far as Jalen Hurts takes them. That's a good one. Okay. Number eight. And I'm actually surprised that they are listed this low. Number eight is the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals, biggest strength. Cincinnati's passing game blossomed after reuniting Joe Burrow with his former LSU teammate, Jamar Chase. Biggest weakness, the Bengals' primary focus this offseason was on improving the offensive line. Um, however, left guard remains a potential weak point. X Factor for 2022, oh, Eli Apple. That's an interesting one. Eli Apple. Uh, the Bengals made their way to the Super Bowl with Eli Apple as their number two corner, but their investments in the secondary early in the 2022 draft indicate that they're not necessarily looking to run that back this season. Their second round pick out of Nebraska, Cam Taylor Britt, could push Apple for his starting spot. So secondary seems to be their biggest uh, X factor, according to PFF. Number nine, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, their biggest strength, Patrick Mahomes. Their biggest weakness, Chiefs defensive front outside of Chris Jones struggled in 2021. X Factor for 2022, the biggest question surrounding the Chiefs this year will be how the Tyreek Hill loss impacts their offense. Yes, everybody will be waiting and watching, seeing how things develop. Now, I know uh, Patrick Mahomes, he still has done well without Tyreek Hill, but Tyreek Hill is just a different animal, man. That, he, he is a different animal animal so yeah it's gonna be real interesting to see how them chiefs saw and see how they operate without him uh on the field number 10 miami dolphins miami dolphins miami dolphins number one i done heard that song so many times over the years anyway miami dolphins number 10 the biggest strength the speed miami can put on the field with tyree Hill and Jalen Waddle, wide receiver might just take it tight end and raheem most of the running back should be a frightening proposition for opposing 
defenses. Agreed. Biggest weakness, the right side of the Dolphins' offensive line. Uh, X Factor for 2022, Tua. Simple. The Dolphins won with it. Super simple. Straightforward to the... That's it. Number 11, who that? New Orleans Saints. Biggest strength, New Orleans defense. Biggest weakness is uh, replacing Teron Armstead. Uh, the Saints locked in their left tackle of the future, Trevor Penning, uh, but there could be some growing pains. X Factor for 2022, Michael Thomas, wide receiver. And number 12, the one that I'm sure a lot of y'all have been waiting on, the Baltimore Ravens. Biggest strength, the Ravens secondary was hit hard by injuries last season every year. Uh, but all signs point toward it entering the 2022 season with a deep and flexible group after adding Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton, Kyle Fuller, Jalen Lamore Davis, and Demarion Williams this offseason. A safety trio of Williams, Hamilton, and Chuck Clark, assuming Clark remains on the team. I like how they put that in there because that means they're paying attention. Uh, should be utilized in a variety of unique ways by the new defensive coordinator, Mike McDonald. Williams uh, has been one of the more underrated safeties in the NFL over the past five seasons. The Ravens' biggest weakness. The Marquise Brown trade thins what was already one of the league's worst wide receiver groups. Baltimore is going to operate out of a lot of heavier personnel groupings to feature fullback Patrick Ricard and tight ends Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle, Isaiah Likely, and Charlie Collar. However, the Ravens could still use a proven veteran who can win one-on-ones on the outside. Rashad Bateman projects as the team's top option after averaging 1.3 yards per route run, 83rd among 128 qualifying wide receivers as a rookie last season. So I think everybody would agree with their biggest strength being their secondary, biggest weakness being their wide receivers, even though yeah, I know a lot of people will be like, oh, no, no, no. But yeah, it, that's, it, they got it right. PFF got it right. Um, I haven't read it yet, but if I had to guess, I'll say X Factor. Uh, will be Lamar Jackson, uh, X Factor. I mean, <laughs> from my point, it could be a lot of stuff. It could be coaching decisions. It could be no, they're going for twos. It could be um, offensive line. Uh, but X, actually, X Factor for me will probably be wide receivers. It'll probably be wide receivers. Um, because you just know, like, not that you know what you're going to get from everybody else, but you're like, Pretty confident in what you're going to get from everybody else. But as far as wide receivers, just that unknown. Um, so that will be the X Factor for me. But let's see what they say. Uh, X Factor for 22. Oh, okay. That, hey, that, well, that's a good one. It wouldn't be my. That, that is an X Factor. It's not the X Factor for me. But anyway, let me read it. It said an X Factor for 2022. Patrick Queen hasn't graded well in his first two seasons at LSU, but he has shown the ability to change games with his range when things are clicking. That's true. Uh, th those moments came more consistently in 2021 as he earned an 80-plus PFF grade in four separate games. Queen taking another step forward and performing at a high level more consistently in 2022 would provide a real boost to Baltimore's defense. Okay, that's that's a good one. Like I said, it wouldn't be my X Factor, but it is an X Factor, and it's a really good one, too. And that, yeah, that's true because you look at, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you look at the secondary and just how strong they are. You look at the defensive line. Um, and how in interior that strong they are, and then you uh, think about the pass rushers and some unknown there. You got Adafi away, healthy. Tyus Bowser injury, Ajabo injury. Dalen Hayes, he could be a sleeper. Uh, I feel like I don't talk about him enough because a lot of times I, I often overlook Dalen Hayes, but he could be somebody that breaks out. Um, but then it's so it's like uh, I don't know, but yeah, inside linebacker. Um, and oh, then there's Malik Harrison too. We'll see if they have him inside or outside or both or whatever. But yeah, Patrick Queen is a big X factor, uh, on this team, on this defense, just on the Ravens roster. So that's a pretty good one. Next up, number 13, the San Francisco 49ers. Biggest strength, the 49ers have one of the best defensive linemen, Nick Bosa, and one of the deepest defensive line rotations in the league. Biggest weakness, San Francisco's interior offensive line will have to replace Lakin Tomlinson at left guard. Um, all right, and the X factor for 2022. Yes, I think we all would agree. It said it's difficult to go anywhere else here than uh, other than Trey Lance, uh, who's expected to, to take the reins over from Jimmy Garoppolo. All right, so number 14, the Denver Broncos. Broncos' biggest strength. It's not quite the no-fly zone, but Denver has put together a nice collection of talent in his secondary. Uh, biggest weakness, linebacker. Uh, X-Factor for 2022, oh, Bradley Chubb. And I think he missed, like, most of the, the year last year uh, with injury. 
So yeah, I would agree. Number 15, the Indianapolis Colts. Biggest strength? The Colts were one of two NFL teams that averaged a positive EPA per play in the running game during the 2021 regular season. So their running game, their biggest strength. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor is like that. And the offensive line is two. Biggest weakness uh, is wide receiver. X Factor for 2022. Oh, Quiddy Pay. Okay. Uh, number 16. So we get into the halfway point. The Dallas Cowboys. Biggest strength? Michael Parsons. Biggest weakness? Mm, oh, the Dallas defensive tackles. X Factor? <laughs> Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon Diggs, the cornerback. Get, all, get a bunch of interceptions now. Give up a lot of yards. But he get, when he get a pick, he get a pick. And you get a lot of picks. You give up a lot of yards, but you get a lot of picks. So, hey, it is what it is, man. Uh, number 17. Oh, number 17, the Washington Commanders. Wow. Biggest strength, uh, their defensive line. Biggest weakness, their linebackers. X Factor for 2022, Curtis Samuel. I forget he's even there. I forgot he was even there. Uh, number 18, the New England Patriots. Biggest strength, New England's secondary, uh, especially their safeties. Biggest weakness, their corners. Uh, X Factor for 2022. Oh, John New Smith. Okay. Okay. Big money tight end from a season ago. Number 19, the Minnesota Vikings. Biggest strength, their wide receivers, Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen. Uh, biggest weakness, their offensive line. X Factor. Ooh. Zadarius Smith and Daniel Hunter. Mm. Number 20, the Tennessee Titans. Biggest strength, uh, their safeties. Biggest weakness, their wide receivers. What are they going to do there? Uh, replacing A.J. Brown and Julio Jones with uh, Robert Woods and Traylon Burks. So we'll see. Biggest X factor, Caleb Fairley. Uh, and he said Tennessee's 2021 first round pick wasn't able to escape an injury history. That was his biggest concern coming out of Virginia Tech. All right. Number 21, the Raiders. Las Vegas Raiders. Biggest strength, the Devontae Adams edition. Biggest weakness, is the offensive line. X Factor is the Raiders secondary. Uh, number 22, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Biggest strength, TJ Watt and Cam Hayward. Biggest weakness, their offensive line. And the X Factor for 2022, Akello Witherspoon, uh, their cornerback. Okay, okay. Uh, number 23, Arizona Cardinals. Biggest strength, DeAndre Hopkins and, they, and those wide receivers. Biggest weakness, cornerback. Cornerback. Mm. X Factor for 2022, Isaiah Simmons. Ooh, I forgot about him. Wow, because he was like a safety, then he went to linebacker, then I don't know what he's doing now, but okay, it says linebacker Isaiah Simmons, though. So, all right, so I guess he's doing linebacker now. Says he hasn't lived up to the expectations that come with being a top 10 overall pick. Mm. I used to uh, pick him up in Madden a lot. But he didn't use the ball out for me. Anyway, uh, number 24, the New York Jets. Uh, biggest strength is their defensive line. Biggest weakness uh, is linebacker. Say returning starter CJ Mosley and Quincy Williams both earned sub 45 PFF grades last season, stemming largely from how they performed against the run. Oh, poor CJ Mosley, man. X Factor for 2022 for the Jets, Zach Wilson. Oh, maybe it's Joe Flacco. We'll see. Uh, number 25, the Detroit Lions. Biggest strength. Um, Detroit's offensive line. Biggest weakness uh, is quarterback. Ooh, yikes. X Factor for 2022, they say, is Jeff Okuda. All right. Um, and then we get in there. 26, New York Giants. Biggest strength of uh, their defensive line. Biggest weakness is the secondary. X Factor for 2022, is Kadarius Tony. Next up, 27, the Carolina Panthers. Uh, their biggest strength. Uh, oh, offensive line. Their biggest weakness, <laughs> the quarterback situation. And this list was actually compiled before Baker Mayfield was added to the team, but I do not think that he changes that at all. Uh, X Factor uh, is losing Hassan Reddick uh, and just really them getting pressure on the edge. All right, number 28, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Their biggest strength. Um, mm, biggest strength was, oh, oh, okay, it's the offensive line. Biggest weakness, oh, well, hold up, hold up, wait, 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 wait. Biggest strength, excuse me, is Trevor Lawrence. Their biggest weakness <laughs> is uh, offensive line. 
X Factor for 2022, there's safety. Andre Cisco. Okay, whose first start didn't come until week 16. All right, number 29. The Seattle Seahawks. Biggest strength, their wide receivers. DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. Biggest weakness, quarterbacks. What are they going to do with quarterback? Drew Locke, Geno Smith, yeah, we'll see. X Factor is there are their edge rushes. I, I say X Factor. I, I don't say it would be quarterback play. Because X Factor, with quarterback play, you just don't know what you're getting. You don't know what you're getting. <laughs> well, you kind of do know, but at the same time, like, ooh, yikes. We don't want to know. Anyway, number 30, the Chicago Bears. Biggest strength. It shouldn't be surprising for a team coming in at 30th overall on this list, but there isn't a whole lot to choose from here. Ooh, yikes. Uh, biggest strength is their secondary. Biggest weakness uh, is their offensive line. X Factor. Oh, offensive lineman, Tevin Jenkins. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of Ravens fans that wanted him. Uh, number 31, Atlanta Falcons. Biggest strength, the cornerback duo of A.J. Terrell and Casey Haywood Jr. Biggest weakness is their defensive line. X Factor for 2022, the wide receivers and pass catchers. And the last team on this list, number 32, is the Houston Texans. Their biggest strength, uh, slot cornerback. Their biggest weakness is the interior of their offensive line. And the X Factor for 2022, Derek Stingley Jr. And there you have it. We have gone through all 32 teams. Again, shout out to my guy, Noah G, for sending the list because I, I, I love this one. Um, because I, I love how they broke down literally everything from everybody and they went into a lot of detail. We, we couldn't go into detail for all 32 teams because we would have been here forever. I mean, we already been here for forever, but we would have been here even longer. I mean, which, I mean, you know, I kind of, sometimes I don't mind because you don't know we could talk forever, but it's all good. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Again, if y'all got any lists, any good lists that y'all want us to review, just hit me up, send it to me. Uh, and we may talk about it if it's a good one. And if it's not a good one, we just continue our conversation in the DMs. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, if you want your own set of little Raven sweatpants, because they comfortable now too, man. They even got the little purple and yellow drawstring and whatnot. So, hey, you know what to do. I gave you the rules. Subscribe here. Subscribe to Ultra Game. We'll take care of you. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Special shout out to all the team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all a lot for what y'all do. Uh, thank you to everybody worldwide that supports. Thank you. I love you. I hope you're having a great day. And we out.